Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be praying for our leaders and for the nations. Let us pray. Merciful Father, I thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for your love, mercy, and grace. Lord, I am sanctified and washed in your shed blood. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Father, I come on behalf of the people, your people, because it is you that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are, you are our shepherd and we are the sheep of your pastors. And so I enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. Father, I pray for our leaders in all the lands. I pray that they will handle the affairs of the lands the way you want them to. Give them vision, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord, of how to be great leaders. Give them a heart that is true, true to the people of the nations, true to you, true to themselves, I pray that there will be good and fair justice system. I pray for integrity. I pray for honesty. Father, your people are frustrated and tired of the dishonesty, failed justice system, lies, corruption, and violence that are taking over our lands and nations. And so, Lord, we need for you to do a shifting and rise up righteous leaders. Your word declare in Psalms chapter 5, verse 4 to 6, For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Daniel chapter 9, verse 4 to 7. And I pray unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keep in the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day. And so, Lord, I stand with the many who are standing in the gap. We repent on behalf of the people of our nations. Forgive us of our transgressions and sins and keep us from all unrighteousness. Father, your words declare in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 13 to 16. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send a pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Father, we humbly come before you. Your words declare that the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through you to pull down stronghold. Your words also declare in Job 22 verse 28, Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy way. And so, Father, with the powers through the Holy Spirit, which you have invested in us, that are interceding, 
We pull down every stronghold of darkness and destroy it. We trample upon every serpent and dragon under our feet. Break every barrier that stands in the way of your children. Open doors for your people. Father, there's power in the name of Jesus Christ to break every chain. We decree and declare that every chain has been broken in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I pray the prayer of Psalm 85. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sin. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thine hunger toward us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw all thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in the land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield or increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his step. Father, I thank you for your mercy and grace upon us, mighty God. I pray that there will be a turnaround for our leaders and our nations. Lord, I pray that our people will call on your name and repent and turn for, from their wicked ways. And so, Lord, that you will heal our lands. Father, I give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Father God, revive us again, mighty God. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen.